Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. Downy Woodpecker Downy woodpeckers are tiny and common visitors to backyards across the United States. These woodpeckers inhabit nearly all of North America south of the tundra and away from the driest deserts. They like small deciduous trees, willows, and brush. They're common in backyards. Like other woodpeckers, these birds hitch up small trees. However, they often cling to the small outer branches. They even hang on twigs and small bushes such as wild rose and teasel. They are bigger than house finches, smaller than red-winged blackbirds, but shaped differently than either. These birds have stocky bodies and big heads. They have short, stiff, pointed tails. The legs are short. The feet are large with strong claws. The bills of these woodpeckers are chisel-shaped, but especially short and petite. The overall pattern of these birds is black and white stripes. The wings are black with numerous white spots and bars. The back is white. The underparts are white or tinged with buff. The face is white. The crown and nape is black. The ear covered black and there's a black malar stripe. The tail is black with white outer tail feathers. Males have a red spot on the nape that females lack. Downy woodpeckers eat suet at your feeder. Tufted titmouse. Tufted titmice are one of the favorite feeder birds in the east. They are year-round residents from the northeast to the midwest and south to Florida and eastern Texas. These birds like deciduous and mixed woods. They are found in parks, orchards, and residential areas with large trees. They are acrobatic as they move through the tree canopy, but you will often hear them first as they have a wide variety of both husky calls and clear whistled notes. These birds are nearly the size of house sparrows. They are larger than chickadees. They have stout bodies and a large head on short neck. The tails are medium in length. The crest is wispy and not always as obvious as one might think. The bill is short and stout. They are gray above and pale below, often with a pale peach color on the flanks. There are black feathers around the eye which make the eye look big and stand out on the pale face. There is also a touch of black on the forehead above the bill. Genders are similar in appearance. Tufted titmice eat black oil sunflower seeds, peanuts, and suet at your feeder. Red-bellied woodpecker. Red-bellied woodpeckers are one of the common woodland birds in the east. These birds are year-round residents from the northeast to the midwest and south from Florida to eastern Texas. They aren't too picky in their choice of trees. They are found in deciduous and conifer forests. They may be found in parks and neighborhoods with mature trees. Learn and listen for their loud rolling chur call. You may find they are more common than you first thought. These birds are a bit larger than European starlings. They are stocky with large head and short wedge-shaped tails. The bills are long, straight, and chisel-shaped. The upper parts, including the back and wings, are covered with thin black and white bars. The head and underparts are pale tan or gray. They have white rumps and black tails with barred outer tail feathers. Males have red crowns from their bill to their back. Some also show a reddish wash to their belly. Females have red crowns from the top of their head back with gray forecrowns. At feeders, red-bellied woodpeckers love suet and also eat peanuts. Red-winged blackbird. Red-winged blackbirds are common birds across North America. In summer, they are found from Alaska across Canada, south into Mexico. In winter, they abandon much of Canada and the northern Great Plains and Midwest. They nest in marshes in summer where there are cattails and similar plants. In winter, they spread out into fields, cattle lots, and residential neighborhoods. These birds are colonial nesters in cattail marshes. In fall and winter, they form very large flocks composed of many young of the year, starlings, grackles, cowbirds, and other blackbirds. Such flocks can number into the hundreds of thousands, especially in the east. These birds are about the size of American robins, perhaps a bit smaller. They are stocky with a fairly long tail. 
They have rather flat foreheads that accentuate the long bill. The bill is fairly stout at the base, long, pointed, and straight on the upper and lower edges. Males are glossy black with yellow-edged red shoulders that can be hidden in the scapular feathers when the wings are at rest. Females are a bit smaller than males. They are pale with heavy brown streaks on the underparts. Some populations show buff on the face. They may confuse beginners into thinking they are some kind of a streaky sparrow. The flat crown and very straight and sharply pointed bill point to their identification as blackbirds. At your feeder, they will eat black oil sunflower seeds and suet. House Sparrow House sparrows were first introduced into the United States in 1851 and quickly became common coast to coast. These birds are year-round residents from Canada south through Mexico. They were originally birds of Europe and Asia, but have colonized basically every human-occupied city in the world. Towns and cities are the primary habitats of these birds. Wherever there are permanent human settlements, these birds are there. They choose to nest in houses, buildings, and other human-made structures, but also in nest boxes provided for other birds. They also thrive in farms and ranches, especially stables and grain storehouses. These are social birds, often found in large flocks. They tend to squabble and have a complex hierarchy. Males are dominant in fall and winter, but females dominate in spring and summer. They also tend to be aggressive toward other birds at the feeder. These sparrows are not related to New World sparrows, thus they are differently shaped. They have a short body, full breast, large head, and short tail. The bill is triangular, short and pointed, but thick at the base. The bill of female and fall males is dull yellowish, the bill of spring males is black. In fresh fall plumage, males are dingy brown above, with dark stripes on the back, dusty brown on wing and tail, with a gray rump. They have one large white upper wing bar. They have a bit of black on the chin. As their pale feather tips wear off during winter and spring, the black bib on the male reveals itself. The crown becomes grayer, the face whiter, and chestnut patches on the nape and shoulder become more obvious. Females remain in dull plumage all year. The underparts are dingy gray. Upper parts dull brown with dark lines on the back. They also show a small white upper wing bar. The face shows a brown crown and stripe behind the eye, offset by a wide, buffy eyebrow. At the feeder, house sparrows eat a wide variety of seeds, but they like cracked corn and red milo that many native sparrows and finches do not like. They also have rather weak feet. So, to reduce the number of house sparrows at your feeder, switch to black oil sunflower seeds in a tube feeder. European Starling European starlings are often mistaken for blackbirds, but they are in different bird family, don't share a lot of similarities, other than their general black coloration. These birds are year-round residents from southeast Alaska, across southern Canada, and all of the lower 48 states into northern Mexico. In addition, birds move northward into northern Canada in summer. They are found in urban, suburban, fields, and orchards. In autumn and winter, they gather into huge flocks, often with other blackbirds. These birds have the body size of an American robin, but a much shorter tail. They are about eight and a half inches long, from the tip of the bill to the tip of the tail. They have plump bodies, rather large heads, and short tails. Wings are short and pointed in flight, almost triangular. Their bills are long and pointed. Dark brown birds that are worn in late summer get fresh new feathers in fall. Then their iridescent black feathers are tipped with white chevrons. These gradually wear off during the winter and spring. By summer, they are mostly black, without many spangles. Breeding birds have yellow bills. The bills are brown in the non-breeding season. Both genders are colored the same. Because of their aggressive nature, most people do not like starlings at their bird feeder. Starlings have weak feet, so have trouble eating from tube feeders and special upside-down suet feeders. Carolina Chickadee Carolina chickadees are small birds, unafraid to live near humans. These are permanent residents in the eastern and southeastern United States. They are found in backyards and deciduous woods. Active and acrobatic, 
They frequently hang from the tips of branches to reach insects that other birds miss. In winter, they form loose flocks with other small birds, especially including tufted titmice. These are small birds even smaller than American goldfinches. They are round-bodied with big head on short neck. The tail is long and active. Bills are small but stout. They are gray above, pale gray below. The face is white, contrasting with black cap and bib. Genders are similar in appearance. At your feeder, Carolina chickadees are fond of black oil sunflower seeds. Blue Jay Blue Jays are one of the most well-known birds in the United States. Birds are found year-round east of the Rocky Mountains, from southern Canada to Texas and eastward. There is a noticeable migration of some of their population in most of their range. Birds move northward into the Great Plains of Canada for the summer. Though they are found in woodlands of all types, they are especially attracted to oak trees. They are common in residential areas too. Brash and conspicuous, blue jays have a complex social structure. The more the crest is raised, the more excited or agitated the bird is. Jays are fairly large backyard birds. They are just a bit larger than American robins. These are stout birds with large rounded or wedge-shaped tails. They have large legs and feet, and they have a bushy crest. The bill is fairly long and strong. Genders are similar in plumage. They are blue above, including the crest. They are gray below with a black necklace across the throat. The wings are barred with black, with white wing bars and trailing edges. The blue tail is barred with black and has white tail corners. At your feeder, blue jays love whole peanuts and sunflower seeds. Morning Dove The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, and open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing cover. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges, best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. Northern Cardinal Northern Cardinals are one of the most popular birds in the United States. Even people who haven't seen one in life have seen their image on logos and advertisements. These birds are year-round residents from the northeastern United States south to Florida, west to the Midwest, and southern Great Plains to Arizona. They are found in woodlands, hedgerows, and dense backyard shrubs. Both males and females sing a series of repeated whistles. These birds are less bulky than European starlings, but just as long. They have a very long tail and big head with tall crest. The bill is very thick at the base, short with curved edges. It is usually obviously orange. Males are bright red throughout with hints of blue on the wings, tail, and back. They have a black throat patch that reaches to the eye and over the bill. Females are dull brown or buffy yellow in coloration with red highlights on the edges of the wings and tail. Their crest isn't quite as pronounced as the males they still show the black around the bill. Northern cardinals eat larger seeds at your feeder, including black oil sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.